e bo mona gen tae kelu no zono busi uru chinketa ai sino busi kita balu no ma es kan ko e chiria zelo e no gena dia ya bo puni oso ka go sinya bi fa juo bia an ke juo ge e mi ya bo basta maka ya bo update basta maka ma sen nam de kanus ladies uh, yes, we nine you go. We na feel now one of the lawyer of Mars and Namdikan. What that your update? You know, update and hope for Mars and Namdikan those ladies. We know now you get gala. Gabi fire you go see near before you ever. Mars and Namdikan go at Bintanyeko on last court sitting. Yeah, excuse yourself from the uh from the case. And since then, we be judge pick up the case. But nobody think that uh Mars will up bada with the update from this appeal court. Fatty yellow. A quarter ago. So, only gay gear on here. Uh, a pure court in your quasi date to hear on the bare condition of Mars and Nanikano based on the yes, pink court room. So, we are hoping that Mars and Nanikano will come out soon. So, gay beef, August, we end also queer as well. When I am on Peruvian beef, just get a good in cafe. All right, it's over to you. With respect to Mars and Nanikano and the federal government, so you record that uh, we file appeal against. The judgment given by Honorable Justice Smith and Yaku, one rejecting his bail, two refusing to declare jurisdiction. So we we'll file the appeal in this court of appeal. So and uh, federal government on their own, they never care to file a response but in order to frustrate the matter, in order to delay it, the more so that Mazen and Kalu will suffer the more in the prison. They serve us the account that yesterday. So we responded quickly and filed this morning. But the judge said that uh, they needed time to look at all we filed for them to hear it. So we are giving a, a, a 17th day of October to come and hear the, the entire appeal. And we believe that the, um, the judge will see reason with us and uh, the judges will see reason with us and uh, grant our prayers and set aside those uh, uh, rulings and judgment given by Honorable Justice Minton Yako Federal High Court and uh, for Mazun and the Kalu, who never committed anything to have his freedom. So that is the position. So thank you. We continue to give you updates. Thank you. You are aware of the activities of terrorists in this country. You are aware of persons who have been negotiating with terrorists without the brief of government. And they see these terrorists all the time. You are aware of those who find themselves in the same agitation Nande Kano was involved in. Today everybody is free, walking freely on the street. Nande Kano is still in detention. The Johannes Ndibo president, Chief Emmanuel Liwanyo, has called for him to be handed over to him. Sam Bazuli came before he passed on. He also called for the boy to be released to him. A lot of people have spoken during Buhari. But President Buhari, due to ancient hatred, decided to keep him and castrate him. Recently, the five governors came together for the first time after a long time to call for Nanda Kano to be released. I don't know what he did, that he should still be there when others are out of prison, out of detention. He, he merely agitated like others. They had to hijack him in Kenya and brought him here. But the truth still remains that ever since he has been in there, he has denounced all the insecurities, activities that were imported into the Southeast just to make that place uncomfortable. And little thing, it will be attacked to his IPOB. When the prison was attacked, they said it was IPOB. We came first to say no, because all the names involved in that, those activities at that time were not from that part of the country. So what happened? They had to start recruiting locals, orchards, people without education, without skill. They are not the one doing the operation for them. And then the Kano has said several in court that look, let, let, that he has no hand even in this. On Mondays in the East, there's no activity. So we are calling for the president 
to release him. But if you don't want to release him, bring him to Ego Square. Let's use him for barbecue. Let his enemies come and eat from it so that we can close this chapter. There is no reason why Nanda Kanuka should still be in prison or in detention. See, first of all, I will not respond to the first one in detail because of the source you are quoting. You see, there are people that will talk in this country. I don't waste my time talking about them. The basis is because Nandi Kano is a freedom fighter. There are other freedom fighters in Nigeria who were involved with even worse things but are free today. Nandi Kano was to be killed in his home. When he was on bail, he escaped. And that was the point the Supreme Court mentioned that he did not join bail. Even his rendition is illegal and unconstitutional. So if everybody that has been involved in the past are free on the streets, even Nigerians who meet terrorists on a daily basis claiming to negotiate with them for some governments are free. And you don't term those people terrorists. Why are you calling Nam Kano terrorists? Has he met any terrorists? You see, Nigeria is a very is a society that things don't go the same way. Different strokes for different people. Nando Kalu's case, I have said it. It was that ancient hatred by Buhari against the people of the Igbos. The Igbos. I'm not saying it because I'm Igbo. If, if it has affected other tribes, I will say it. And I'm not ashamed of saying it. President Buhari had ancient hatred against the Igbos. And that was why he incarcerated him. Others, others were free. Now we have another president who can see things better than President Buhari. And that's why we are calling on him to look at the issue passionately. And there's no basis for him to be there. For how many years? Four or five years? And the trial is not going on. And who is who in the Southeast has come to plead for him, even during President Buhari? He was just smiling, smiling it off. We don't bother about him. We knew his position. But we have a new president. That's why we're saying he should be released. And if you don't want to release him, I added, if you don't want to release him, let's use him as barbecue in Ego Square. Let his haters come and take a pinch of his meat so that we can close that chapter perpetually. All right. Uh, this is a barista, Maxwell Obara. I think you know him. He's one of the counsel to Nambekano. Uh, now that the case is in a court, I know that the federal government will be shaking if not the way of maneuvering the you know judgment or justice is because this is the same appeal court that discharged and the canon acquitted this is the same appeal court that said no court in nigeria have the jurisdiction to try and this is the same appeal court that free him and the case is before the same courts so what do you think that is going to happen but before i go further it is important you watch the background of this video because a lot of people have been hearing a uh, pico freedom the canon before a pico freedom the canon before let me just give you the background of the reason why a pico freedom the canon before take a watch of this video it is not a new video it is an old video that happened when a pico freedom the canon i want to kick off with this news that broke a few hours ago nigeria's appeal court dropping all charges against the separatist leader Nambi Kano after ruling that he had been illegally arrested abroad. The court also ruled that his extradition had been illegal. What's your assessment of that? Yeah, thank you, Charles. I think it's a good day for Nigeria. It's a good day for rule of law. If you read the judgment, the appeal court is very clear that if he wants to prosecute someone, you must follow the law. Because the essence of prosecution is to establish the law, follow the law. But bringing somebody illegally, the federal government disobey Nigerian local laws, disobey international law. We have treaty with Kenya, we have with Great Britain. If they want to try Nambekan, there are legal process they should have followed. 
to bring him in. You don't just go and kidnap him. So, and in law, we say that you cannot put something on nothing. Since the process through which he was brought into Nigeria was flawed, there is no way the trial could have continued in the first instance. So, I think the, the court deserves to be commended. We've always called for rule of law, and today the AP court has upheld rule of law, and uh, they sent clear signal to the government that they will not uh, allow such illegality. Yeah, if government wants to be mischievous, they will go to Supreme Court. But if they want to obey the rule of law, I think they should free him. They should heal the warning of the judges. It's very, I mean, it's quite interesting. They just come short of calling out the Antony General of mm. Federation. That as the first chief law officer of the nation, he is in a better position to advise the government that you don't do that. You don't just go and, we are not in a banana republic. That is the message. And if they are still going to go to the Supreme Court and believing that what they did is wrong, that would be a shame, really. But so, would they still hold him if they go to the Supreme? I mean, the, given well, today's judgment, is he likely to be freed and then, you know, be, be sort of asked to return to court, or, or will he still be held if they appeal against this? Well, uh, from my experience as correspondent, mm -hmm. who have seen the court for long, I know the tactics employed by law enforcement agency. They want to hold him while they are appealing even though there is no other of course that said they should. Hmm. Because ordinarily, like we see in the case of uh, uh, ASU and the federal government, they will need to I mean, apply for stay of execution of that judgment while they are on appeal. Hmm. And even once that has not been granted, they ought to free him, but they will go to court and say, look, if we free him, he might still be a danger to society, right. and therefore they are not likely to free him. But like uh, Prof said, I think... Uh, it's a political issue, and I think this judgment provides both the agitator and the government an opportunity to politically resolve this matter. Mm. So on 17th of uh, October in Onimia, I pick out the Anozo, Ganozo Makayabife, Mazin and the Ganos lawyer Jimakia Webia. So the key is line at Eastern News 24. To say about the call to moon nine doors or into a year before Eastern News 24. Guys, you will tell you that we know what you are doing. But on Rossi, Megan, you are calling one near. Don't lean on me, boy. Can I see